you know what? Let's buy ourselves a new car. Because I th think this is one car I've been wanting to use ever since I unlocked it. And well, I'm going to locate that car now because I'm pretty sure it is a Class B vehicle once I find it. So we need to head over to the Class B section, which is right here. And this is the car I want to use, the Celine SR. Because basically this is a tuned version of the Ford Mustang SVT Cobra. And well, because of that reason alone, I just want to use this thing before the end of the game, so, you know. I will use this thing now, because why not? So purchasing the Celine SR, and also putting on all the upgrades I can put on this thing for 37,000. And I will put on a vinyl as well. Let's go with a flame vinyl, maybe see if one of these can make this boy stand out. I will use... Actually no, I won't use the flame vinyl. Actually this current vinyl I have on the car, I think it's okay. Unless the splash vinyl can provide me with something reasonable. Eh, not quite. Let's see if we can go wild with this. Ooh, I quite like the I quite like those wings. Although it doesn't really give off enough of a vibe, unfortunately. For me. Let's use Eh, I'll use this one. As for the colour, I'll make it Sure, why not? And now I will change the colour of this thing. And I will change this from silver to that's orange is that supposed to be oh dark red that's a little too dark for my taste well you know what I think because I quite like red mustangs anyway, I might as well do that, because, you know, I just like red in general when it comes to Ford Mustangs, and this one is no exception, even though this is just a tuned model Mustang. I think that's all I'll do for now. Except maybe putting on a neon just to put this car out there. You know, because I can do that. And I'll give it. Sure, why not? Okay. Let's move on. Let's actually do some racing with this bad boy. Because I want to. Also, because the next set of events I have are Class B events. And my first one is... Yep. Why did I figure that bus was going to barrel straight towards me? Oh well. Doesn't matter. I will just get on with what is an order race ordered race Ichi Nissan Yon sorry Ichi Nissan Yon I hope I said that right
This could take a few weeks try. This could take a few tries for me to get it right. But we shall wait and see. If I don't get this to work out somehow, then I'm basically going to be asking someone to more or less throw a brick at my head, because that is just how terrible I think my attempts up to this point have been. And it feels like I'm just asking for something disastrous to occur almost every time. And every time when disaster does occur, it's basically a hit. Rather than a miss. I forgot that was a staggered junction. Now it feels like I'm forgetting how to drive again, which probably doesn't help. And never mind, I wind up winning the race on, over and on my roof, by a few turns over Kayla, and Dupes finishes third. Then Ryota is fourth, and Daisuke finishes in last. Well, at least I actually got a win on the board this time, which is one thing. So one race down, and still four more to go. Hey, I got word of a tournament taking place. You might want to check it out. The kind of thing you'll enjoy for sure. Make sure you show up in the right vehicle, or they won't let you drive. Okay? Cool. And now the Asakusa tournament is open, which is for Class C vehicles, which means I'll probably have to roll out the Skyline again, because that is a Class... because that is a Class C vehicle. I might consider doing that next time. So then it's out the way. Also, I'm now 35% complete with this game. Sorry, 35% complete with the Tokyo Challenge. I think if I can get up to about 40% at this point, then I think we should be on good terms with where the rest of the game is going to go from here, basically. Well, we finally got past the first race, so here's to hoping the other races will be somewhat easier. I hope. So let's do... Adrenaline here in Tokyo. I think I also did a race called Adrenaline once before. I don't know what it was, but anyway, here we go. Well, it was going well until I basically had to fuck my. Well, it was going well until I basically had to fuck myself right at the finish, and then once I did fuck myself, I was basically dead. As in, my shots of winning were basically dead after I made that one last-minute error. So I decided not to finish because, well, it was embarrassing. For me to throw one away like that. Because since these are individual races, I actually want to prove I can win these races.
even then if I'm not exactly doing a very good job of that. But at least I'm trying, which is one thing I can take credit for. And on the brakes. Get out my fucking way. And now, I just need to make sure I stay away from my opponents. If I can do that somehow. And heading down Tokyo Highway above 200 and had to step on the brakes there because of all the gas tankers. No doubt in saying they were refueling. And I get fucked by a car. Of course I do. Which doesn't surprise me. At least I find an alleyway to slot myself through. Which is one good thing that comes out of this. Now I just have to make sure that this time around I miss the mistake I made before. Yeah, looks like I do. But just in case, I use zone right at the finish. And there we go. I beat Connor to the line. Then it was Shiori in third, followed by Hunter, Ivana fifth, and Lucius finished in sixth. That actually wasn't too bad. Altogether. So, two races down, and still three to go. I have no doubt in saying I will unlock another tournament before too long. So let's head down to Ginza Stop. Yeah, did I also mention this is a muscle car? Because that's basically what this is. It's a muscle car. Which I am using. Anyway. On now to Ginza Stop. Which is... Race number three that I am doing with my Mustang. I reckon I'll probably reach 40% progress by the time we're done here. Or by the time I call it a day. I reckon that's probably going to be what the case is. As I step on the brakes and... Going downhill from here and trying to watch myself but not doing a very good job of it at the moment because of all the vehicles I just went into and it seems like at the moment I am doing okay There is still a lot of traffic. Or at least there is enough traffic. From what I can see. But anyway. I probably should have taken a shortcut there. Unfortunately I didn't. And it looks like we're back on the highway once again, this time from the other side. Oh god, this is going to be scary. Okay, it is no longer as scary. We're back on the scary side again. Of 
Okay. We're doing alright. And through here we go. And over to the line. And there we go. Victory over Tatsuya. Yoko finishes third, then it's Mika in fourth, and we had Tracy at the back. That's my friend. Hi. Cool. Now we move on to our next one. Three races down, two races to go. As I will probably be doing another tournament with my skyline once we're done here. Oh god, it is now raining. Yeah, I'll do power slide. I really hope this car does not have appalling handling in the rain. Because if it does then well, I'm basically fucked. Which is what I don't want to happen. But hopefully that won't be the case. But anyway, it's fucking raining once again. And I really don't know how to approach this. Except try not to fuck myself up. Just sipping from my bottle again. And now, we shall get going. Did I mention I hate rain racing in this game, as in if there is one thing that can never stop being a continual pain in my ass with this game, or basically with any of the Midnight Club games, it's rain racing. Because whenever it rains, it basically pisses it down. Like it's basically coming down harder than a waterfall every time you get caught up in it. And sometimes there is just absolutely nothing you can do about the inevitable chaos that's just going to ensue in all directions and avenues. It's just not going to avoid you regardless of how hard you try to avoid it. I'm so glad that was not a solid post. Because if it was, I would have been dead. As in, I really would have been well and truly dead. Anyway. We will see what we can do. Maybe if it's possible, this will not be a total shit show. And heading through the corner now, and I think this is where I need to go because this is a shortcut from what I can see. And on the brakes. Hard on the brakes, in fact. And now... We just have one checkpoint to go. And there we go. That was race three. As I beat Walker to the line by two and a half seconds. Lucius third, Chris in fourth. Where is everyone else? And... Shota finishes in fifth. I don't think anyone else was in the field. Speedway wins again. Yes, that I do. 
Oh, Speedway wins again. Okay, I get it now. I get it. I was wondering what Tamada said there for a moment, but he said Speedway wins again. No doubt in saying I probably bring pride to the Speedway name. But whenever I get to use a car that's similar to the Gen 4 Ford Mustang, I will like this car technically is, then I will gladly take pride in using a car like this at some point if I can squeeze it in. Even though I will have to sell a few cars in my garage once I am done here because I am only, well, sell some vehicles from my garage. I keep saying cars for some reason. Maybe that's because I'm only really known for playing car racing games and not really any others beyond that. But anyway, I continue. I continue to keep myself going because that is what I do. And I hope to eventually complete this game. That's my other objective. I'm hoping to meet by the time we get to fucking mid-September. Because then I can focus on finishing my other game. Knowing that I've got this one out the way. Hopefully. So, yeah. Might as well get this game out of the way first and foremost. Before I get back to Colin McRae Rally. That's more or less what my objective is now, because I want to at least get some progress on the board here. I think we're not too far from reaching 50% now in the Tokyo Challenge mode. We still have a few more races to do before we reach that point, but I don't think we're too far from it. Okay, so that's now three races down and still two races to go, from what I know. Because these races are getting harder and harder now. And we're back under a dry spell once again. You know what, let's get on with Doshia. Sorry, Doshio, which is right there. It's basically just across the street, so I'm gonna head over there, because why not? Also, I'm now 41% complete with the game, which means we are closing in on the halfway point of the Tokyo Challenge mode. Now we get on with Doshio, which is race number four, and oh boy, it's another unordered race. Which means I'm probably going to be shit to start with, but then once I do get the correct route on the board, I become a bit less shit, hopefully. I'm going to try this way, and hope that it works. The arrow is pointing in the other direction, but we'll wait and see. And now that traffic has intervened, this race is going to be blown straight to hell. Going to be blown straight to fucking hell and back again is what it's going to be. From what I think, anyway. Because that's more or less the way these races turn out. Can I please stop putting myself in a fucking gully all the time? Would really help if I could somehow avoid making the contact.
to the point of where it's just going to rack me all the time. Would really help if that was the case. Because I feel like that's kind of where I'm at with this whole thing. At the moment... Damn it. I fucking missed it again. Are you fucking kidding me? I fucking hate all of you. You know something? I think that direction actually helped me out, first and foremost. Can I please manage to stay away from the traffic? Would really help if I could learn how to stop running into them all the time. Because that's kind of what's happening at the moment. And basically just getting my ass stapled to the wall. Because of something I have almost no control over. I think I'm heading in the right direction here, but I don't know for sure if that either is or isn't the case. Okay, currently P2. I think I am heading in the right direction here. Things do appear to be looking up, at least. Just depends on knowing if I can keep him that way. And... yep. I chose the correct path to start with, and I won. Over Miki. Haruna finishes third, then it was... Shiori in fourth, and Akira finishes in fifth. My voice is now dead. I need a sip from my bottle again. Do excuse me for a moment. Okay, friend, you with the big boys now. Okay, one race to go with my Celine Assar. And then, once we are done with that, we can then move on to the... Next tournament. Hey, Fred. American royalty is having a tournament, and for some reason you're invited. Probably because you're American. <laughs> Head on over there and show them what you got. Just make sure you show up in some old school American muscle. Okay, thank you, Tomada. I will make sure to keep that in mind. Do excuse me for a moment, my throat is not cleared properly. Okay, I think it's cleared now. So, let's get on with our fifth and final race with my Celine SR that I plan on using here. So we have the... So we have the Asakusa tournament, which I will probably be doing next, and then after that I will probably be getting through the Wharf tournament, and then I think after that I might consider switching over to the Hot Match Scully for my next few races once I am done with those two tournaments. and slamming straight into a bus. Basically me just giving it payback for how it basically just slammed me across the road before. I did more or less give it payback, which I think is fair and just, because it's a video game and it's not real life. Anyway, here we go with Sewer Run. Where we are probably running into the Tokyo Sewers. 
from what I know at least. And so, here we go. I'm really going to have to count up how many races I've done up to this point because I've been struggling so hard for a lot of these that I practically lost count of how many races I've done now. So I think that pretty much tells me I more or less need to... A feel for how many races I've done up to this point and how many more races I need to do. Okay. Doing better this time around. Just need to make sure I keep that up. If I can do that, then we should be okay. A little twitch there, but all appears to be normal. And this time I don't get it wrong on the junction entry to the freeway. And now I need to make sure. I get the rest of my shit on par, if possible. Okay, and now heading into the sewers as I am on the brakes. I figured I was going to run into the wall yet again. Heading through the Tokyo sewers. And coming out again with some sort of oversteer, but able to correct it. And now I just need to make sure I get to the end, since that is one thing I have failed to do so far. And this time I do get to the end. With a Less than 4 second margin of victory over Kayla, Yoko, and Tracy. Paul is 5th, and Terry finishes in 6th, and supposedly last. Yeah, friend. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay, I really need to check and see how many races I've done up to this point, because I have suddenly forgotten. I think it was four, but I'll have to check on playback to make sure everything is in order, since I've been recording this now for less than an hour, this episode, and because I've been struggling a lot. So, I will be right back. I have checked through my video file to see just how many races we have left, and I am pretty sure that we have just one race to go now in order for me to make this a five race segment which is more or less what I have been doing up to this point and now I think it's time for me to get on with freeways because even though there is a race right in front of me I am also convinced in saying it's possibly attempting to deceive me which is what I am not prepared to fall for. So I will instead be heading on with this. 
I get through somehow, and nope, doesn't look like it. Looks like it's just a crossroad section here. With that alleyway. Anyway, here we go. Let's now get through our fifth and final race with the Celine Assar in terms of the Tokyo races. And then, once I'm done with this, we can then think about what to do with our next tournament. Which, by the way, will officially be for Class C vehicles. Since I have more or less put myself in the position of where it's probably better for me to do the class event in ascending order from class D to class A. And as for the other events I do, well, you'll just have to wait and see what happens. Because I haven't decided yet. over what it is I'll be doing. A decision will come to me soon, but as to what that decision is, well, stay tuned to find out, and then you'll know. Is the only advice I can really give. Because I'm working this out as I go along. I think that's what Indiana Jones once said. But anyway, yeah, I'm basically working this out as I go along. more or less. Most it is what I am choosing to do, and back on to the flowing lane, instead of the oncoming lane, which to me is not very helpful, at least when it comes to trying to avoid the chaos. And Heading around this way, looks as though we are pretty much racing on the freeway for this one. And up to the line, and yeah, win first try. That's awesome. And that only took me a minute and 57 seconds to finish that race, as I finished. 6.3 seconds ahead of Terry. Then we had Ryota in third and Hunter finishing fourth. Is anyone else going to make it to the flag? I don't think so. Oh well, let's move on. Huh. We basically just did a Lamborghini and two Jambala F355s. In other words, we beat a Lamborghini Gallardo and two Ferrari F355s. And I think that's going to be a good stopping point for this segment now. As I will be getting on with some more racing. Luxury rollers are holding a tournament. Show up in a nice luxury ride and see if you got what it takes to hang with those rich idiots. No, not as rich as me. Tamada, I know precisely how to handle myself in luxury rollers. So in terms of the tournaments we now have to do, we have the Trapper of America Bike Club, the American Royalty Car Club, the by invitation only tournament, which I am leaving for later. The Luxury Rollers tournament. Along with the Wharf tournament. The Asakusa tournament, which is for Class C vehicles. And that's pretty much it. So we are now 46% complete with the game. Okay, I keep saying game for some reason. We are 46% complete here in Tokyo, and now we have just got 
another five more no wait hold on let me start over so we have done 20 races now here in Tokyo under the Tokyo races icon and we have unlocked quite a few tournaments and I think next up I'm gonna switch back to the skyline again because our next tournament event will be Asakusa and now I will be heading back to the garage to end off the episode <clears throat> So there we go. 20 races are now done on the streets of Tokyo. And next time we will be getting on with the Class C tournament. And the car I will be using for that will be, if I can find it, this. The Nissan Skyline GTR R34. Because, yeah. Okay, that's good. So, next time on Midnight Club 3, we will be doing the Asakusa tournament. Coming in the next episode. Thank you.